a lot of people would be positively affected okay. by this new okay. world. Okay. Here's the real story. Okay. When I was a kid, I designed an airplane miniature, and it crashed into the ground. And an older kid came over to me and said, your wings are too far back, move them forward. I said, how did you learn that? He says, well, I built one, and it crashed, and some older guy told me. He didn't say, my plane is better than yours. That's the ego thing. My plane is better than yours. Kids, I can run faster than you. I can fight you. My daddy can lick your daddy. Where do they get that? In the competitive system. So I learned by sharing ideas, you both gain. If I attack you and say I can run faster than you, I always said to kids, you probably can run twice as fast as me to get them off my back. And a lot of people want to hurt you, they say, where did you get that shirt? In the Salvation Army? That's an attack. But if you say, I found it in the reject pile of the Salvation Army, there's nothing further they can say. But you have to understand the grammar of motives. Nobody ever read that book that I talked to called The Grammar of Motives, Mind in the Making by James Harvey Robinson, The Tyranny of Words by Stuart Chase. All those books should be in every university. They're not because they, they upset the culture. So there are nice people in the Heritage Foundation that remove books from libraries that they think rock the boat.